Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna do a video, basically a remake of this Binance video. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, and leave a thumbs up to this video. So for whoever is new on to this uh, my channel, I basically have a Discord channel which I do like uh, giveaways, and after that from there like a small community from time to time people can start chatting over there and after that from there exchange information and of course uh, learn together and of course grow together as well so right now we are going to jump into the main topic the news on Binance uh, being banned in Singapore so over here on the news uh, across the media over here you can see the main one uh, basically the blog uh, Bluebird over here you can see the news basically telling uh, first of all Binance.com plays on investors alert list by Singapore regulator basically the MAS and the next headline is Singapore says Binance may have breached payment regulations so this is another like uh some try to sound not so serious but at the same time somehow serious and the next thing over here this one is the best one mas banned binance singapore from unlicensed payment uh, services red flags with investor alert list basically everything here tamba here is like wow rabat one and after that the next one over here you can see mas order crypto exchange uh, platform binance.com to stop services in singapore so this one doesn't sound like uh much does not sound like a threat or whatsoever and over here on Sidley itself um, basically the Singapore um, block and after that over here they have mentioned about this and after that what the crypto investor need to know so I will say that this over here is quite insightful and over here um, basically on the news itself basically all the stuff they are talking about is almost the same and after that from there I just want to highlight some uh, important notes that you guys should know basically over here because on binance we know that there is this thing called a binance.com and of course binance singapore and after that from there we are going to basically explore what is this uh basically the difference between this uh, binance.com and binance sg so over here on the binance sg and the binance.com itself the basically they do not have a direct impact on the services that they have and of course bear in mind that binance singapore which operates under the binance asia services is a different it's a different entity somehow it's a separate uh, legal entity from binance.com with its own uh, basically management the team and after that every everything over there the marketing department everything is different from binance.com and after that it does not offer any products or services that binance.com uh, website is offering so over here we can compare the services right now so on binance.com itself we can see that they have uh, tons of basically products that they have basically they also have a uh, finance and after that you can like have the uh, the binance visa card you can mine on the binance.com uh, platform they also have some nft and of course you can earn passive income and of course leverage trading on binance.com and on binance singapore itself over here there is much uh, i would say binance singapore sucks to be honest why is that so because if you want to buy uh, cryptocurrency first of all you cannot set a limit order basically over here on binance singapore itself is for a total new beginner um in buying cryptocurrency that do not know any financial stuff you do not know even you don't even know what is a market order and a limit order so if you do not know what i'm talking about basically binance singapore is binance.sg is the best place for you to buy cryptocurrency and let's say if you do not want to basically um just do the market order you want to do some tradings and you want to like get into an entry point from time to time basically binance.com is the one that you would go to but right now there's some uh basically regulation ongoing on this binance binance singapore i mean binance and singapore some some regulation issue that is ongoing so we're gonna uh, talk about what is the mas uh, investor alert list so we're here on the mas website basically the investor alert list the investor alert list provides a list of unregulated persons uh, who, based on inf information received by MAS, may have been wrongly perceived as being licensed or regulated by MAS. So basically, this list, blah, 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 it is, it is just MAS telling you that they found out that uh, these few services that is somehow, uh, basically, there's a lot of Singaporeans using it. And after that, basically, they receive like emails talking, uh, asking uh like is this company registered or regulated with them therefore they just put it on the website if let's say they are not regulated they are just going to put the name on the website and after that from there it is to from my ex uh from my opinion itself it's just telling you that uh use it at your own risk because it's unregulated so yeah they are not really technically not saying that you can't use it or you must not use it or let's say they did not really ban the ip address on it so we're going to talk more about it 
So we here we are going to talk about the alternative towards Binance.com uh, or let's say Binance Singapore. If let's say you do not like the interface of Binance Singapore, first of all, the alternative that is uh, almost same as Binance Singapore is basically CoinHako. And of course, many people say CoinHako sucks. Why is that? So because you can't redraw the currency, some of the currency out there they are offering, you can't redraw it or deposit. Therefore, you only can purely trade on it. And of course, on the CoinHako, you cannot even do a limit order. Therefore, it's just totally for beginners to get in the entry of cryptocurrency like getting a skin of it of the game and after that the next exchange i want to talk about is tokenized another singapore exchange that i will say that you can link x first and after that from there the fees on tokenized is slightly higher but of course they also provide a lot of trading pairs and they also have like their limit order you can set and of course the next one is okcoin OK basically it's based off uh, us if i'm not wrong it's somehow same as okx and after that from there they have some free uh, incentive ongoing basically uh refer a friend so if you want to use the exchange you can basically use the exchange to trade uh buy hundred dollars worth of crypto on okcoin and you'll receive up to fifty dollars in bitcoin and of course for gemini uh for you guys who have heard about it and of course i will say this this is also another alternative that you can do uh basically trade on gemini because it's a u.s product and it is somehow regulated on the u.s side and yeah basically over here you can see trust the product and after that they are yeah, basically they're regulated and licensed and audited. So I would say if you want to uh, know like which is the best exchange, I would say that I recommend, I would say Gemini, if not um, basically CoinAco. And after that tokenize, if let's say you do not want to use CoinAco and you want something Singapore, I would say that yeah, the Singaporean uh, style is like tokenize, if not CoinAco, if not Gemini. And after that, lastly, the OKX with the referral program. And after that, right now, we're going to talk about my personal, uh, basically, personal opinion about Binance and is it really banned? So, for example, if let's say you are, uh, the country is really, want, uh, really wanting to ban these services or let's say this website, what would they do? Basically, on the internet provider itself, they are going to block off the website. And after that, from there, you can see right now, it's not... Uh, Singapore has not totally banned or blocked off Binance access to the Binance.com. So, if let's say... Singapore really want to do it, they just head over to the network provider or the uh, or your internet provider. They just say, or oh, do not let Singaporean assess the Binance.com website. So first of all, I'm still able to assess it and I can basically head over to the peer-to-peer -peer itself. And after that, from there, we can still see people selling and buying US data using the Singapore uh, services like Bank, PayLah, PayNow, Google Pay. And from there, there's uh, people still doing trades over here and the merchants are still ongoing their trades and their activities as per normal and of course to be honest over here if let's say let's say if, uh binance really took the the warning and after that from there they really do not want to deal with it they will not even uh basically not even basically you will see on the website itself it's gonna tell you oops sorry you can't assess our website uh because we, binance.com can't provide the services to you because you are your ip address is in singapore and we do not offer you these kind of services therefore you cannot even log in or sign up on the website but i'm i'm logged in and after that from there i still can navigate around on binance um dot com and of course the thing that i want to talk about is the the news so over here, the news over here on the on the separate statement, Binance.com said it is actively working with MAS to address concern they might have. Basically, what Binance is doing is, uh, yeah, basically MAS have any question or like regulation issues that they want to implement with Binance.com, they are trying to basically compromise and from there work out uh, a collaborative approach. And after that, from there, yeah, basically Binance.com is trying to yeah work out with MAS and from there get regulated somehow. And of course, you see, you can see uh, over here the note that they say we take our compliance oblig uh, obligation very seriously and we are actively uh, keeping abreast of changing policies, rules and law in the new space. So they are working uh, very closely with MAS and other global regulators to comply with the relevant regulatory standards. The statement said basically Binance is trying to compromise and after that, I would say that Singapore has not totally tell you to like, has not banned hammering it because on some news they on the media as i already flashed through up just now they say singapore bans binance and stuff like this but in my opinion they have not really banned it yet and i would say that right now it's just a, a warning and of course from there they are trying to work something out with binance uh basically singapore and binance they are trying to work something something out and to be honest why did this happen is because of the arising like crypto scams like rug pool and whatsoever you want to know about on the binance smart chain and after that over here they also provide a lot of uh basically financial products slash uh 
whatever you call it, the traditional way. And after that, over here, there's too many products. And after that, it's too advanced. And of course, I will say those people who are really new to the space that do not have even, do not even have a, I will say, what is that called? The investment knowledge. They tend to come over here and they will click on whatever they can. And after that, from there, when they lose money and stuff like this, what do they do? Uh, for those who are basically law by law, you will just head over to MAS and tell MAS, hey, MAS, I already, I put my money into this exchange and after that, this exchange did not teach me how to do this, do that, but then I click the wrong button and then my money is all gone. And after that, from there, you have to like head over to MAS and after that, complain and hopefully you can get your money back. But honestly, you cannot do anything because MAS is not affiliated or basically have not issued license to Binance.com and after that, is to protect the citizens. Uh, from using Binance.com because it's too advanced, way too advanced on all the products that they're offering. And after that, right now, Binance Singapore is the most easiest uh, crypto exchange that you can enter. And of course, using CoinGecko as well is very easy. So I would say that uh, my opinion is they have not totally banned off uh, Binance.com yet because I would say Binance is a very big exchange. They have the largest um, liquidity. And of course, if let's say Singapore intends to ban them, Basically, first of all, they cannot get a tax. And of course, Binance Singapore is also using the same name, same brand, same logo. And after that, I would say um, they were not going to totally ban it off. But of course, set some, if let's say for Singaporeans, they are going to like, to be honest, if let's say Singapore already step in, the MS has stepped in, I would say all the products like leverage, uh, these options and stuff like this, basically, you need to be accredited or basically have some... Uh, knowledge or feel or uh, some certificate to prove that you understand all of this before you can assess them therefore this to protect the citizens that that's what they say and after that over here there yeah basically this is what's going to happen and after that the outro right now so if you are using binance or let's say interacting with any cryptocurrency um platform like ethereum on 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 chain basically you are using the ethereum network to like interact with DeFi or whatsoever you might have received some airdrop token so how does the airdrop token works is basically like somehow a scam and i would like to warn all of you guys to yeah basically have a look on the website that i've generated i mean created it's called the airdrop scams.com you can head over there and from there you can read more about the blog uh, what is this airdrop scam all about uh, although this blog itself is talking about binance smart chain um mainly but of course uh, on binance smart chain is the same is the same concept of uh basically like ethereum and of course um po polyscan basically matic and i mean polygon the matic and after that um yeah solona as well so these are the basically preventions that i want you to know about and after that from there you can share with your friends and family as well so if you are not subscribed to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to this video and of course i'm gonna see you on the next one bye bye peace